The Power of Prayer, The Story of St. Monica and St. Augustine. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Monica was born in 331 in Tagast, present-day Algeria, into a devout Christian family. She was married to Patricius, a pagan landowner with a volatile temper and licentious habits. Together, they had three children, Augustine, Navigius, and a daughter whose name remains unknown. Monica's life was filled with challenges that could have made her a nagging wife, a bitter daughter-in-law, and a despairing parent, yet she remained steadfast in her faith and character. She guided her family through her example, prayer, and when necessary, persuasive words and diligent actions. Her unwavering prayers and virtuous life eventually led to the conversion of her husband and mother-in-law to Christianity. Patricius was baptized a year before he died in 371. Augustine was 17 and studying rhetoric in Carthage at the time of his father's death. Monica was heartbroken to learn that her son had embraced the Manichaean heresy and was living immorally. However, she never gave up on him, praying and fasting fervently for 17 years for his conversion. 12. Augustine later acknowledged his mother's role in his spiritual journey, saying she brought him to birth both in her flesh and in her heart, leading him to eternal light. Conference 8.17 when Augustine decided to go to Rome at 29, Monica was determined to accompany him. He deceived her by pretending to say goodbye to a friend, but instead, he set sail for Rome. Heartbroken, Monica followed him to Rome and then to Milan, despite the travel difficulties. In Milan, Augustine came under the influence of Bishop St. Ambrose, who also became Monica's spiritual director. Her greatest joy came when she witnessed Augustine's baptism by Bishop Ambrose in 387 after his long and restless journey to the faith of the church. Some months later, as Monica, Augustine, his son, and a small group of friends were preparing to return to North Africa to begin a monastic life, Monica passed away in Ostia while awaiting the ship. Her life exemplifies the perseverance and faith that Christians are called to embody. As the Bible says, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. James 1.12 Monica's unwavering faith and perseverance also remind us of Galatians 6.9 Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. St. Monica's story is a powerful testament to the strength of faith, prayer, and perseverance. Let her life inspire us to remain steadfast in our own spiritual journeys. May God bless us through her intercession in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.